building here from Brooklyn, or I've been to Brooklyn, and yeah? Yeah. So, I just kind of have a couple of things to say about Brooklyn. I've lived there for three and a half years. I love Brooklyn. I'm never leaving Brooklyn, probably until I go to California. But a lot of people act like it's a hole in the continent. It's like, oh wait, Brooklyn? Like, you, you live there? Oh, I... Yeah, I, I don't cross the waters. It's a whole other, that's a whole other place to live. So dating here has been very, very hard. Like it's almost like guys just don't get it. They just kind of like almost act like, oh, I can't leave my house. I can't leave my eight blocks to like go to another part of New York because it's made up of five boroughs. You know, I'm sure we're all aware of that. But still, it's just a whole other thing of like living there and like embracing the culture and going out. And it's summer, so there's gonna be a lot more things to do in Brooklyn instead of just coming to the city all the time. So, but other than that, uh, I kind of like to date Jewish men. Like it's kind of like a, it's something that I've done. Um, so, last week I met this guy and we were kind of hitting it off. And uh, he told me he's a Jewish lawyer. I was like, oh, that's awesome. Like, totally, like, into you. <laughs> yes. Totally got this. <laughs> so we go back to his apartment. He lives, you know, right near the UN, like, totally Upper East Side, wherever. Um, <laughs> he uh, starts, like, kissing me, and then he's like, I need a cigarette. So he starts smoking and then he tries kisses me again and I'm like, this is not happening. This is totally a turn off. And uh, that totally didn't work out. But that was like the last Jewish guy I was into. But it's been really hard like meeting people here because it's also kind of like interesting how people profile you and how they interview when you meet them. It's like, oh, like where are you from? Oh, what do you do? Oh, what types of like things do you like want to do in New York, and it's kind of like, don't people just like hang out and like want to get to know each other instead of just kind of like profile you and be like, hey, like, I'm in a job interview and I'm going to like interrogate you like you're a terrorist, and you're like, some like, some like person who's like done some terrible thing, it's like people just don't like have normal conversations here, like even last night, I went out and uh, this guy was like, Oh yeah, like where are you from? Like what do you do? And right, right then, I was just like, this is not happening. You, you can't start this conversation with me this way. And he like totally, totally walked away. It was kind of funny though, because I was like, I, I can't, I can't talk to you about this stuff. This is not something that I really want to do in a bar. I want to like dance and have fun when I go out with friends. Um, other than that, it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's interesting. How uh, it's summertime now, so you know, people are gonna wear less clothing. It's gonna get hot, really, really hot, finally. Finally, some warm weather's coming along. Uh, and the, other than that, there's also gonna be a couple other things going on in the city, like the, the Mermaid Parade, which I'm excited about. <laughs> Never been to that, but uh, apparently it's pretty fun it's in Brooklyn. If you go to Brooklyn, you know the Mermaid Parade, check it out. Uh, the, uh, and then there's also this other thing that I was going to mention too about guys, how there's this also new trend going on where guys that are, um, are in relationships are like screaming at guys. So it's like, oh, by the way, I have a boyfriend, but we just had sex. So it's like, wait a second, where's like the, where's a single man if everyone's in a relationship? How do you like go from like one type of, you know, dating someone or seeing someone and then they're in a relationship. So it's really hard to just be single and have fun. But I have a lot of fun here. I've gone out and met some cool guys and it's been a journey for sure. And I'm happy to be here with all you guys. And so, um, yeah, other than that, I've, uh, <laughs> um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs>
Just go with it, just go with it. Oh, I recently saw, um, recently saw something about, there was some, like, Twitter breakup or something, and apparently this guy, like, broke up with his girlfriend and, like, had, like, the largest tweet. It was, like, breaking Twitter records or something, and he, like, it was all a text message breakup thing of, like, him and his girlfriend. It was like, oh, like, I'm gonna, like, like, get rid of, like, your sweatshirts or something, and it was just something, like, really stupid. And I was like, really? People don't break up in person anymore? You're like doing a text message breakup and then breaks all these records on Twitter? Like, that's the world we live in nowadays. Like, no one actually, like, goes to you in person and says, oh, yeah, I'm breaking up with you. It's all, like, through text message and your social media. It's kind of crazy. Kind of interesting to think about, yeah. Uh. <laughs> um. So, uh, my niece really wanted a American Girl doll, and so she saved up for it, and she ended up buying one. And she started selling lemonade, too, because she wants another American Girl doll. So, she's making the lemonade sign, and she didn't put an amount for the lemonade of what she was charging. And so, it's just outside her house. And someone comes up and goes, oh, I'd like a glass of lemonade, or how, I would like a glass of lemonade, how much is it? She's like, ten dollars. And they're like, ten dollars, are you serious? She's like, well, yeah, I, how am I going to save up the money for the American Girl doll if, you know, I don't, if I'm going to charge a higher amount for this lemonade? Which is interesting, because she's seven and she's very smart. She's already, like, being an entrepreneur. Now, personally, I love being an uncle, but I do not want kids. No way. No how. Kids, that's like three stollers and diapers, and it's a whole other game of uh, being, um, being a man. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> other than that, it's uh, I love being an uncle. It's so funny because she uh, she calls me up and says, uh, "Are you coming home for Easter or any other holidays?" I'm like, uh, I'm kind of in New York. Don't really wanna. Do I want to go home right now? So you can come visit me if you want me older. But <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, guys. Well, thanks for coming out, and uh, have a good night.